Uh, pardon? <laughs> Is there anything, any IoT thing that I focus on? I uh, I actually have two projects that I'm that I have not done, but I've I've got them on the books to do. Uh, the first one was uh, involved with my um, gas grill. Twice during a dinner party, I've run out of gas. <laughs> just and, and I guess if I had just opened it up and looked, I, I could have probably anticipated that a little better, but I didn't. So I'm going to make uh, something that will send me an email when I get down to 10% gas left. And, I'll, and so I started looking into it. And I thought, well, I just need a pressure sensor to, to tell me when it's... Not so. <laughs> so <laughs> so you've got to research what it is. <clears throat> you've got to do it by weight. So I started looking into uh, strain gauges to measure how heavy the thing is going to be. And, and I could do that. Uh, but I saw somewhere where somebody hacked into a digital scale and just took their part and used the scale and the electronic piece of that. And from that, I could tie it into a, an Arduino, which would capture that information and then forward it to a Raspberry Pi or, or to just my uh, hub. And, and um, Although it would probably be the Raspberry Pi because there I could actually actually format um, something that would send out an email or a um, or a text message and, uh, and at the same time just at any point in time let me look and see just how much gas is in there so that's one thing I was thinking of doing that's funny my solution for that problem yeah <laughs> yeah I know but you need something to do <laughs> The second one is uh, uh, we've got a, a backyard with with sort of erratic sun, and my wife and I have different opinions on where the best place to put a garden is. Uh, we have one spot that has good open sun, but only like half the day. The other is kind of broken sun uh, for uh, for the entire day. And so I have two. Uh, light sensors and what I'm going to do is actually put them out and measure exactly how many lumens per day <laughs> each of the two spots have now is that worth doing I don't well it certainly would be fun <laughs> it'd be interesting to try so that, that that's the kind of stuff I'm thinking of doing you know mostly it's it's um, it's about just the idea of doing one of these projects, uh, which I think is is a lot of fun to do. So, anything else? Have you done much work with the Zigbee stuff at all? Not at all. No. I, I, I in fact, I bought a different communication mod module to use. Uh, but I'm thinking maybe Zigbee is really the way to go. So, it's a little more expensive. There, I don't know they, what. 30 bucks a module or something? I don't know. What I got was like five or six bucks a module. What's that? It doesn't make good production. Oh, no. No, and I might be wrong about that. Maybe it's not that much, but I just, so. So. Well, thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you. Uh huh. Okay.